Hi again, friends and fans. What is an afterword? What's an epilogue? Authors need to know. Today I'm going to take a stick and poke at that question until it gives up a little clarity on the subject. According to Wikipedia, that treasure house of information, some of it is actually useful. An afterword is a literary device that is often found at the end of a piece of literature. It generally covers the story of how the book came into being or of how the idea of the book for the book was developed. An epilogue is a piece of writing at the end of a work of literature usually used to bring closure to the work. It is presented from the perspective of within the story, so when the author steps in and speaks directly to the reader, that is more properly considered an afterword. According to masterclass.com, although the terms afterword and epilogue are often used interchangeably, they're not synonyms, but they're not quite antonyms either. Not, there are noticeable differences between the two which focus on who is doing the writing, the information they provide, and the perspective taken. Despite the differences between the words afterward and epilogue, people do continue to mix them up, and some American English and British English lit dictionary definitions, as well as other language reference materials, cite afterward as a synonym of epilogue which adds to the confusion. Masterclass went on to provide a detailed explanation on the subject, including disambiguation between an afterword and an epilogue. An afterword explains how the book was created and may contain interesting or complex backstories to tell that story, discussing the inspirations behind or challenges involved in the book's development adding depth to the overall story. So the afterword comments on the book's content and may provide historical context or to commemorate a book remaining in print for multiple decades or even generations. It shares an alternative perspective, for example, if written by someone other than the author of the book, it can provide a rebuttal, backup facts, serve as a follow-up, or just share an alternative point of view related to the book's main material. So afterword and epilogue. What's the difference? Let's take a look at a definitive disambiguation. There appears to be three main differences between these two types of editions that go at the back of the book. And these are perspective, fiction or non-fiction, or content. In terms of perspective, an epilogue is written from the perspective of either the main character or the narrator in the same way as the rest of the book was written. An afterword is written by the author of the book or by another author, notary or expert or commentator. More decisively, epilogues appear in books of fiction, whereas an afterword may appear in both fiction and non-fiction books. An epilogue is written by the author of the book, whereas an afterword can be written by either the author or another writer or commentator. In terms of content, an epilogue is part of the story. Written in the same way and from the same perspective as the rest of the story, and can be used to provide a more satisfying conclusion after the final chapter. An afterword is about the story. I hope this clears that up. That's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative. Remember to check the links under the video. Feel free to leave a comment, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until next time, keep reading. Cheers.